Okay, so let's listen to the end product that you're aiming for. And of course, you can modify it however you like, but this is just a bit of a starting point that you can get a feel for the sort of thing you can be creating. So let's have a listen to it. London's hottest music. London Live. 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 Okay, so let's have a look at all the different parts on this and see what we've got. Now I can click on the solo button and that just plays the particular track on its own. So the first one we had was just the background noise. And you can hear that just plays underneath everything else. I then have another sound effect here that I've chosen to put between these two vocal points. So this first one bit, what if you actually if you listen here. You can see this is our first effect. London's hottest music. London, London live. Live, live. So what I've done with this piece of um, audio here is I've selected the piece I wanted and I actually put an effect on it which is called equalization. And so we'll come to that in a minute. But it just takes out some of the frequencies and makes it sound a bit more like an old radio or telephone and sounds a lot thinner, but it sounds like it's a good effect for these kind of sweepers. And then this one here, I just selected a fraction of a second of the first L in the words London Live. And I just made the computer repeat that so we get this sort of stuttering effect. London Live. 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 And then right at the end, just added a little bit of echo. And then of course, between those two, just add another little sound effect. London Live. 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 Let's go back. So by now you should have recorded your own bit of vocals to go into this. So I've got mine here completely untouched. And what you can do, if you see little bits and pieces um, in between, you can actually, and you think, oh, there's a bit of noise. So like in here, if I zoom in here, come across, and you can see maybe there's little tiny bits of noise like there. You think I want to get rid of those. You listen to them first. You think. And there's just a little noise from where maybe I clicked my teeth or something like that. I can always just say generate, silence, and that will just flatten it out. So, okay, and that's now flat, completely flat. But I'm going to go and have a look at the first bit. So I want to get rid of that first bit. So I am just going to delete. Where's that? Uh, oh, actually, hang on, I just pressed the delete button. There we go. So here's the first bit of audio that I want to use. London's hottest music. Now that sounds a bit too natural, just like me talking. So what I want to do is actually put an effect on this. So I'm going to select that, go effect, equalization. Now this might look a bit different on your computer, but what you're aiming for, what I've done, is I've gone to draw curves and I've clicked little points to make a curve like this, starting at about 250 hertz down the bottom to about a thousand you might have in your select curves option you might even have a telephone that's what i started with and i thought when i listened to it it sounded still london's under, hottest music it sounded a little too clear still so i wanted to kind of take some of these lower frequencies out down here low frequencies high frequencies so move this all along a bit Say so, right, I'm going to really knock it along. So pull this across to about there, there. Really just knocking it in so that everything's going to be a lot less sounds coming through. Just only something that are in these frequency ranges will be let through. So now we can preview that and see what that sounds like. London's hottest music. Okay, that sounds good to me. Now the problem is, well you can see now, the um, sounds have gone very low, they're very quiet, so we need to get that back up to um, a good volume. So you can go to effect, normalize, that brings everything back up so that it's pointing to the one. So we're getting it's gonna come up to one here, so we'll say normalize to maximum minus one, just so it doesn't, it's not too loud. There we go, so it's made it a bit louder. So let's have a listen to that. London's hottest music. Good, I like that. So now we need to bring in our audio. I think sometimes on your computers it might be under edit, while my computer it's under file, but you want to find import and audio. 
Now I've got some clips I've had a look at here, so let's see, I think I'm going to just preview some of these so I know what they are. That's the one I want. But you could have checked this in advance, so check that, okay. Um, it says make a copy, just click OK. Right, there we go. So now we've got our music file down the bottom here. London's hottest music. Now, I don't really want that to be playing at the same time. I'd rather my music started a bit. So I'm going to, I've actually cut my clips. I'm going to move this out of the way and move that along. Maybe zoom up a little bit just so I can get an idea of so now. Let's try that. London's hottest music. Yeah, it's not too bad. And now I want to bring in another sound effect. So file, import, just to play in that little gap. Um, let's have a look. I think it was on. That'll do. Okay. So now that's... Oh, hang on. That's just down there. So let's just... Zoom up a bit again, and now you can actually make these layers all a little bit thinner. So pull that up so that you can see things a bit clearer. And push that one up, and then the top one as well, so they all fit on your screen. Now, this is my London Live bit here, my music. So I really just want to move this after, so you can see the lines come up. So right, okay. I'm going to have that play there, so let's give that a crack, see that's, that's how that sounds. London's hottest music. That'll do. Now I've still got over here where I, the little bits of audio left, so I want to clean all this up. So first things first, let's delete all that off, I don't want that empty space. Just delete. And now play it. London's latest news, gossip and entertainment information. No, hang on, where's my... It's over here, in the right space, this might help. Let's listen to it, where was it? Listen online at... dot com londonlive dot... Where is it? Information. Just gotta find where I've got my little bit, where is it? What's on in London? Right here, londonlive dot com So I want this one here. London Live, that one will do. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to copy it, copy. And I'm going to bring it over to here. So I wanted to start around there because that's where the sound effect down the bottom goes. So paste, and now I've got that. So let's have a look. Just play it from there. London Live. So I want to add a little effect to that, so I'm going to zoom in on it, zoom up a bit more. Now I want just this little L sound, so I'm going to try about that much. That look, that's all I want. So now say effect, repeat, and I think, yeah, six is a good amount. Preview it. No. I don't know why it's not working there. Let's just try that again. Let's see how it goes. Let's just, sometimes you've got to try these to get to see if that will work. London Live. And I think now this goes on too long, so I want to delete some of that off. Delete. And then maybe even this sound here, I don't want it really just to kind of cut off. Start suddenly, so I want it to fade out. So I'm going to say fade out. There we go. And maybe even I could just have a little finishing sound effect to go on there just to finish it off. So, around, yeah, let's have a look if I import it. Let's listen to that one. That'll do. So, we'll try that one there. Okay. Whoops, and now it's coming again right at the start. So let's just zoom all these down. Now if we wanted, we could copy this, edit, copy, paste it into here. Close that layer, because we don't want it. 
it says okay zoom back up again um, let's try that London's hottest music London live and say yeah that's pretty good but I want it to fade out pretty quicker than that so I'm going to say effect fade out there's one last thing we need to do so we've got all of that London's hottest music London live it's not bad so the last bit is I want to do an echo on this voice here which says London live if I put an echo on it stops at the end of that sound so I need to actually zoom in and add some silence to the end of it where the echo can sort of sit so it's going to put in a couple of seconds of silence generate silence so now I'm going to just select that effect echo. Now you play around with this, but I'm saying a delay of 0.3 seconds. That's really quick. So let's have a listen. London, London live. Live, 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 live. Okay. So let's try that. London, London live. live, live. So let's see, and I've got a final thing. London's hottest music. London live. There we go. So now I can just select all of that. And that's when I would now export it. Export selection. And I would save it as a WAV file, number one, and then possibly as um, an AIF file as a second option. Okay and then that's your whole thing done. Okay, there we go.